From this point on, we will assemble the aluminum extrusions section by section. These initial steps will be done in this small room before moving outside for the final structure assembly. To get everything in position, we will clearly mark the lines where the extrusions meet and internal fasteners will need to be added beforehand. For maximum strength in the joinery, we will use these standard end fasteners, which provide a larger surface area for a secure grip. This method of internal joinery is one of the strongest techniques available, and over the years, we have used thousands of them in multiple projects. And in this demonstration, you'll see how to use flush plates to align and flush the joinery to perfection. I'll start with basic hand tools to prove that anyone can do this. And as we progress, I'll switch to power tools to speed things up. Flush plates have been an integral part of all our assembly projects. One of the most frustrating aspects of working with aluminum extrusions is achieving perfect alignment and flushness. But flush plates solve this problem quickly and effectively. To further tighten the screws, you can use this method to extend the grip on the Allen key, allowing you to apply more torque for the final tightening. To further strengthen the joint, large brackets will be added externally while keeping the flush plate in place to prevent any parts from shifting out of position. In addition to these brackets, I had to design and 3D print some special brackets for a specific joinery because such parts simply don't exist in the market. These custom 3D printed brackets will help me hold 4080 extrusions perpendicular to a 5050 extrusion with precision.